All right, it's day two of Forces of Nature, and already we've covered everything from monster waves to gale force winds, but this next segment features a force of nature that is invisible. That's right, so let's turn things over to our fearless science friend in Pittsburgh, David Willey. This week on Daily Planet, we're looking at fundamental forces of nature, and the one we're gonna look at right now, gravity. This is my guillotine. It works from gravity. As you can see, the blade of it weighs about 30 newtons. That's what, about a pound and a half. But it's not made of steel like a normal guillotine blade. This one's made of copper, but it does still have a sharp edge on it. So I was thinking that what we could do is to chop some fruit up with it. Let's try it with the tomato first. So. Here we go, let's see if it chops it. And yeah, let's see what happens to this one. Okay. Yep, this one's got a hard shell to it, just like my head. Let's see what would happen if for some reason, rather than your neck, it were your skull underneath a guillotine. Yep, don't think I'd want that to happen to my head. What I'm gonna do for you next, I'm hoping will amaze you. I'm gonna put this blade up here, put this safety bolt in it for a minute, and what I've got here are some really strong magnets. Now, as you probably know, magnets are not attracted to copper, so I can hold them up against my blade. There's no force of attraction there. Aluminum, the same. What is it that magnets attract? Steel. But other than this pull loop, none of my guillotine is made of steel. I'm gonna put these magnets in the back here and position them such that when this blade drops, it drops past them. Now, do realize it is not scraping against those magnets. I'm gonna put my arm through the guillotine and have my wife drop the blade onto my arm. So, let's see if we can chop my arm off this time, huh? All right, let it go. And I don't. It doesn't chop my arm up. Why not? Because when the copper goes past the magnets, they induce an electromagnetic current in here. The one fundamental force of nature, gravity, produces the other fundamental force, electricity. This is how we generate all of our electric power mostly. And I'm glad of that, because it saved my arm from getting chopped off. Well, I'm so glad David volunteered for that experiment, and not me. 